Welcome to Donkey Kong Country 3. I actually, I've let's played this a few years ago, but we're going to do a little twist today. We're streaming it, and we're going to do hard mode, which uh, yeah, is going to be fun. And for those of you who have grown up with the SNES version of Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, the GBA version is actually pretty different. Completely new soundtrack, uh, different graphics, different sound effects, uh, different collectibles, and a completely new world that was not in the SNES version, so I could personally like the GBA version a lot more, but I understand why you others may not. Okay. Main game. Are we going to go to... We gotta go to cheats. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in T-U-F-F-E-R. Tougher. And we're starting a new game. I am already still... Yeah, I love the Donkey Kong Country series. One of my favorite game series. You started the third game and you're maybe halfway through? Yeah. Third game is good. I think it's one of the weaker games in the series, but it's still good. So, for those of you who are wondering, hard mode means there are not going to be any checkpoint barrels, and there are going to be no DK Buddy barrels. So we basically got to go through the levels perfectly, almost. Yo, Dixie! What's happening? I've set up my smoke and new bolt shop on the island, but that's not all. I've also brought your excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. Nobody cares about Kitty Kong. He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Oh, yeah. And if you throw him, his humongous body could smash through the floor of some areas. Trust me. All right, let's hire the boat. We're not doing Funky's games. I want to actually do the good part of this game. Oh. Yeah, I never had a SNES growing up, either. I had the Game Boy Advance. So you found one of the secret banana bird caves to release the imprisoned bird. You must watch the sequence of lights and then repeat it exactly using the directions on the control pad. It seems like a waste of time to me. Why can't these game developers come up with something more interesting? I don't know, Cranky. Easy! Banana bird! Um, good question. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that. We're just gonna dive right into the first world, Lake Arena With Lakeside Limbo. I will be trying to get 100%, by the way. 100% hard mode, because you need to get 100% if you want to go to the final bonus world. Which, obviously, I do. Don't need to spell Calm on every level, but I do need to get all the bonus barrels. Thanks, kitty. Collect 50 stars! One of, the, one of the reasons I like the GBA version of the Donkey Kong Country game so much is the physics are way better. It's much easier to control the cones in the GBA version. Even if the colors are more saturated, admittedly. Thanks for the hero coin, bro. Gotta hit the back of those coins every level to get the hero coin. That also does count towards 100%. But yeah, as you can see, no DK Buddy Barrels, no checkpoint. So if we get hit, we gotta live with that hit. Although we do get both cones replenished every time we exit a level. So I guess in some ways it can be considered easier. Oh boy. I love collecting 15 bananas, not. There are three types of bonus games. There's collect all the stars, collect a bunch of bananas, and just get the coin. I like get the coin best. I'll update it, don't worry. As to, as to when I update it, that's different. Oh yeah. Great change. They're like, everybody loved Rambi. What if we replaced Rambi with an elephant and made it worse? It's like, yeah, I can't see why anyone wouldn't like that. And if you if you complete the level of Kitty, you get a blue flag, and if you complete the level of Dixie, you get a pink flag. We have the yellow flag, which means we got the hero coin, and the flag is blowing straight and true, which means we got all the bonus levels. Door stop dash. It's Rambi with an eye. 
This is some of my favorite music in the game right here. I love the Mill Fever theme in GBA. Okay. Exactly. Kinda weird how the bees in this are like robotic toys. I never really understood that. Beautiful. Yeah, the Donkey Kong Country series is really fun. I love it a lot. And again, the third one is not nearly as well liked or talked about as the first two. But it's still good. Yeah, David Wise did all the music for the GBA version. It's really good. The GBA didn't have the best sound quality, but I felt like David Wise is like, alright, I know it doesn't have the best sound quality, but I'm gonna kind of work around that. Like, he almost kind of uses the distortion of the GBA speakers to its advantage. That's not good. Now Kitty's all without a home. Uh-oh. Yep, and that's why it's hard mode. No replenishing the cones. No checkpoint. We normally would have had a checkpoint by that point in the level. But not on tougher cheat code. DKC Free is... it's fun, it can get very hard at times. I, f I feel like DKC Free was made for people who had already played the first two games and were kind of well acquainted with the stuff already. Oh no! Stupid bees. Okay, Kitty Cone, it's all on you. And I think that's actually a bad thing, because I'm pretty sure we need the Team Throw at some point for this level. Oh, great! <laughs> Gotta love K Kitty Cone's incessant crying, don't you? This is level 2, by the way. There are quite a few worlds in this game. <laughs> this is off to a great start. But I'm getting mon a bunch of money! Gotta watch out for the buzzers. Buzzers mean business. Gotta be patient. See, it feels like Kitty Kong can jump a bit higher, which is weird. It's like I swear I timed that at the same time when I was Dixie and she didn't make it. Stop being so hasty, Artie. Beautiful. <laughs> no, I no. Kitty Cone crying is too obnoxious. It's very hard on the ears. There we go. There's that other bonus token. I think just about every level in the game has two bonus tokens, with like one or two exceptions. Ah, uh, good old barrel cannons. Gotta love it! I'm not paranoid about climbing up any piece of rope, because I'm just like, I know there's a bee. Alright.
Though I don't want to take that for a steel keg ride just yet. I like blue flags better. Yes, I'm going for 100%. You can't do the true final boss if you don't get 100%. Which means getting all the banana birds is going to be a pain. Welcome to the trading arena! I'm fed up with you young whippersnappers having all the fun. So I'm improving my skills for my next big adventure in Cranky Kong Country. When are they going to have Cranky Kong Country? So you can help me train if you like, but I'm no charity. I need to raise cash to fund my new project. So I'm going to charge you for the privilege of training with a master. As it's early in the game, I'll let you train with me for one of those stupid silver coins. The ones with those freaky bears' heads on them. Let's trade. Ah, help me deflect these spiky critters with my trusty shield. Use the control pad to move my shield into the correct blocking position. You'll get me a reward, or you'll get a reward based on your performance. <laughs> this is not in the SNES version. All of the Cranky's dojos were wrinkly save caves. Those are the only ways you can save the game. But thankfully, the GBA version's like, you know, it's kind of dumb that you can only save the game if you go to a specific house. Maybe we should make it so you can save anywhere. This is peak gameplay right here, by the way. <laughs> the Dragon Warrior is here among us. <laughs> and his name is Cranky Kong. Training complete! You only have to complete one train perfectly. Excellent skills! You managed to deflect all those spiky critters! You've completed the Master's Challenge! Take this bird! I'm sure it'll come in useful uh, somehow. Oh boy, another banana bird. There are way there are way too many banana birds in this game. Alright, thanks, Cranky. Oh, yes, it's the best place in the game. Again, this is not in the SNES version. Bachelor Pad. <laughs> it's a bear in a hot tub. Hello there! How's it going, Collins? Bachelor is my name, and I've built this fantastic new pad. I could really do with your help, though. I'm looking for someone to share my wonderful home with. To help me find the girl of my dreams, I need a beautiful rose and a box of chocolates. Could you get them for me? If you do, I'll trade you that stupid yellow bird that keeps getting feathers in my hot tub. <laughs> Here, take this! It might come in useful. Clear off, then. I need to take a bath and prepare myself for my hot date. <laughs> Bachelor bear. <laughs> yeah, that's a pirate captain in the SNES version. I want something very different. I'm going for 100%, not 1,000%. There is no 1,000% in this. Smuggler's Cave! Those get hard later on, by the way. Like, eventually you have to memorize, like, almost 15 of those in a row. So trust me, like, it's not like, well, that's just mindlessly easy. No, it gets tough. Tidal Trouble. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of banana birds in the game. A lot. pushing me around. Who does he think he is? Okay, I believe you. Hi, on guard. On guard is, I think, the only animal buddy that was in every single Donkey Kong Country game out of the original trilogy. And by I think, I mean he, he is. He literally is. Collect 30 stars. Unless you count Squawks' one appearance in uh, Donkey Kong Country 1, where he just lights up the cavern for you, which I do not. Nice job, On Guard. On Guard is the only way you can actually attack underwater, so he's pretty useful. Yeah, I'm not going for that coin. It's more trouble than it's worth. Don't 
fall off in the water. Cool. Okay. This is one of those tri- mm. This is one of those tricks that's annoying for me to do. Yes. Kitty Kong can do a crazy roll jump off the water. It's tough to time, but it can get you to some secret places. Woohoo! Not so hard thus far. But it's also only World 1. Yeah, I don't anticipate this is going to take a very... This is going to be a short stream series. Uh, no. I will not buy followers on that this website. In fact, you are banned. Because I say so. Alright, time for Skidda's Row. Now, I am a big proponent saying the GBA soundtrack is better than the SNES soundtrack, but this song is an exception. The SNES version of this song is, I think, a lot better. It doesn't have any weird yodeling. I like this part of the song, where it's like, oh, it's like a cheerful little Christmas village, but like, then it's just like, oh, now it's Howling Wind and Yodeling. My favorite. No, not allowed, not allowed to... S not allowed to spam websites, no. Also, what is the point of buying followers? Like that, that literally defeats the whole purpose of followers. You get followers because you got people who are interested in your content and want to know when you're alive. If you buy that, like, what does that do? Absolutely nothing, that's what it does. And I appreciate that. Gotta find the creme coin, or I'm sorry, the bonus coin. The boomer coin. It actually is the boomer coin, because you have to give them to a bear named Boomer. Man, level 2 is a lot harder than the other levels in World 1. <laughs> I love that sound, too. <laughs> Alright, Murky Mill. This is a weird one. With very inconsistent rules on... Yeah, so we play as the elephant for the whole level. And sometimes the elephant can jump on rats, no problem, and sometimes the elephant refuses to go near rats. Like, this is the part of the level where it's like, Oh, rat! Oh, no! My greatest weakness. No, I want my O. No, I want my O! No! That's a shame. Alright, oh, I'm not spawning Colin on this level. Thankfully, that doesn't count towards 100%. So far, so good. Except missing the O and all that. Yeah, like, it's like, oh no, a rat! It's like, you've been jumping on rats the whole level, but this one I'm gonna jump into the buzzer for. Don't really get it. Oh, 
Also, elephants aren't even that scared of mice. They're cautious of mice, but they're not like, <gasps> drop everything, run into a crocodile's mouth. There's a rat. I don't know if I'd say the Donkey Kong games are underrated, because they have a big fan base. I definitely really like the Donkey Kong Country series. I think, I will say, I definitely think Donkey Kong 64 is underrated. Oh no! Donkey Kong 64, I think a lot of people are like, oh, that game sucks. It's like, no, it's, it's actually pretty good. Oh my gosh, wait, guys. I got 100% on this level. I got the coin, and I got both the bonus barrels. So, see you at the finish line! <laughs> That's the advantage of uh, dying in the middle of the stage, I guess. Oh boy, Swanky's Dash. Well, would you believe it? Hello, Collins. Welcome to my all new sideshow game. My show's on the road, and it's in every land! The cost of this game? Two coins in the hand. There are some great prizes on offer today, so come on in and choose to play. Just do that in your way. So come on, Collins, and have a go! How could you could well win, you never know. Will you give it a try? Sure. Sorry, kitty, no miners allowed. But don't be sad, it's not all that bad. Now it's up to you, Dixie. Try to collect as many gold stars as you can before the time runs out. Watch out for the spiky obstructions, though, as hitting these will make your you drop any stars that you've already collected. Pressing the A button will make you jump, and pressing down on the control pad will make you duck. So, welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog 2's uh, special stage. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay, this is very different. In, in the SNES version, it's like a baseball throwing game to get you extra lives. In this, you actually... It's like the Sonic 2 half-pipe simulator, basically. Swanky's putting death traps in here, and he's like, uh, no miners allowed. I don't want to be liable for that. Oh! My stars! Not suitable for people who are prone to motion sickness or nausea. The, this is pr actually pretty hard to get all the stars in. Why is there a big black screen above chat? That's for when the alerts happen. You got 87 out of 100 stars! That's not good enough. You really must try harder. I suggest avoiding the spiky balls. I did! Here's a consolation prize. So, like, if I get a new follower, it'll pop up above the chat. That's why. No, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm getting that stupid banana bird. Again, we only have to get a really good score in one world, and trust me, this version of his dash is by far the easiest. So, we're getting the banana bird here. I'm getting old. This is starting to make me a bit motion sick. Oh, come off it! Those are pat organized in just such a way that you can't just move in a circle and keep holding those stick. I got 80. That's not enough. It's kind of cool that they have, like, a pseudo free I mean, I don't think you need all the stars, but you definitely need at least 90. And I think you actually need, like, 95. Why are you putting death spikes in here anyways? That makes the show more interesting. I also don't think you need to pay him two coins every single time you play, just the first time. Or maybe the first time you play in each world. If you think this is if you think this looks easy, it's harder.
I can't believe I got all those stars in a row. I got 90! I hope that's good enough. Nope, it's not. <laughs> he keeps being like, just avoid the spikes and you'll be fine. It's like, dude, I'm not having a problem with the spikes. I'm having a problem with you co constantly putting the stars in just a weird enough place that you can't get them all in one motion. By the way, this is just as hard in regular playthrough. Like, hard mode's not making this any harder. By the way, this song is called Jangle Bells. got over 95. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> exactly. Jangle all the way. There we go! You did better than I expected. 96 out of 100. Have the banana bird. Yes, good. You don't have to get a perfect score. It's one of the best performances I've seen in a long, long time. Give me my money back. Guaranteed. Actually, no, I think I was paying him two coins every time. Alright, well, time for the first boss. Belch's barn. Belch is the boss, not the barn. Let's see if we can two-cycle him. Nope! Let's get a <laughs> yes, you can request it during the randomizers. If you would want to. This guy's got creepy eyes. Bosses in Donkey Kong Country 3 are weird. Yep, you were here in burps. Take that, Belcha. Well done, young Kongs! That overgrown barrel will make good firewood. Off you go, then! You need to head for the Kremwood Forest! Cool. So that's 100% in the first world. Off to World 2, Kremwood Forest. Spurring and spiders. This music sounds very different in this. In the SNES version, this this song is a very dark, ominous song. And here it's like, let's make it as upbeat and cheerful as we possibly can. I like both. But there are some levels where this cheerful song does not fit. <laughs> Well, not getting that coin. Did <laughs> you missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! <clears throat> Although, the vertical scrolling in the GBA port is not spectacular. Belcha was eating too much soda pop. What, what can you say? Squawk! Silver coins do not count towards 100%, but you do need silver coins to buy things that you need for 100%. So there's a general store that I just skipped over. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate this banana game. I also hate how in the GBA version, every time you lose a bonus game, you have to watch that, like, six-second you lost fanfare. Instead of, like, the one-second one from the SNES version. Okay, oh. Let's try that again. That was, that's, that quote was from Mulan. Some of the bonus games are very tough for no real reason. Please keep spawning in the one same spot over and over again. 
I love when that happens. Alright, there we go. That one's kind of annoying. I'm so glad that the spiders have, like, b wooden boards above their head, so I can use them as platforms. This song makes me very nostalgic. Which is weird, because it made me very nostalgic even on my first playthrough. Curses. We're raking in the lives. Hope we don't need the team throw for anything. TNT barrel. Gotta use this wisely. Not on that buzzer. Oh, I've got an extra layer of protection, I guess. Oh. Well, guess I used it on that buzzer. Hi, Swoopy. That is its official name, by the way, Swoopy. No, I didn't get the bonus barrels I needed. Great, now I gotta go for the level again. <laughs> I needed the Team Fro to get on top of that Swoopy. The little woodpecker guy. But that's okay, because you know what? There it is. Another warp barrel on this level. Just gotta remember where it is. as usual. Unless... They're always in, like, a weird out-of-the-way corner, and they're invisible until you touch them, so... That's part of the fun. Ouch. Well, if I got hit, then... <laughs> Ah, there it is. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh. Really? That's how it's gonna be? You can't go down? Really? You would do that to me. How far are we gonna get? I'm probably just gonna beat this world and then call it a stream. 
Alright, great, so we can't actually take the warp barrel. That's a little annoying, but that's okay. At least it's not an auto-scroller. So it hopefully won't take too long to get back to where we were. those buzzers. They're freaking everywhere, man. Ugh! I also don't like the vertical scrolling levels, because the GBA vertical screen is very, very small, so you can't see what's above you. you get, like, no reaction time, which is kind of bogus. Oh yeah, Super Nintendo had amazing games. No doubt about that. I just know most of them from the GBA, because almost all of them got, like, GBA re-releases. And that's how I know of them all. Yeah, like, that guy just jumps you straight towards a red buzzer. If you don't know it's coming, then, like, good luck. It, freaking again! Like, how was I supposed to know that was there? I know I played through the level already before, but, like, seriously. The least you could do is, like, make the screen centered as we're climbing up, but no, it's like, let's have this camera freeze when you're at the top of the screen, so when you jump up, it's just completely blind what you're jumping into. Yeah, the GBA, the GBA port of this game is harder than the original SNES version, which is, which is actually unusual. A lot of the times the GBA ports were made a lot easier, but I think DKC Free is definitely more difficult than the GBA. Yeah, I let's played Super Mario World quite a while ago. One of my did I do it in my first year? Yeah, yeah, I that was actually first year of Let's Play in 2016. I did Super Mario World. She got everything in it, too. Which is, yes, a reoccurring trend of mine. We're going squawks. We're going squawks route. hard mode actually is messing with me, because no DK Buddy Barrels means I need to keep both my columns alive, and no checkpoints means if one of my columns dies, it's a big, big reset for me. You were, asking, you were asking about Mario Maker, not Mario World. Oh. Um, I have not streamed Mario Maker. I've played it a little bit. But honestly, like, I haven't really made any. I've made, like, one level. Ah! 
No! Freaking... Ah. The things I do for one stupid bonus barrel. It's always the freaking green buzzers, too. Like, always. You're just leaping them all. And then they come out of nowhere and just smack you. I did Yoshi's Island. I think I streamed that last year. It wasn't even too long ago. I am building up my life stockpile. I can't keep track of all of these buzzer locations. It's also completely bogus that I can't use the war barrel to get to the end without sacrificing a column, which means I can't. Spider always push you off and go on from the left side. I just don't know. Yeah, this. I will say, I love the upbeat, cheerful music for this level. It's very good. And honestly, the level design for this isn't even bad. It's literally just not being able to see where I'm going on a vertical level. where the red bus is. Take that. Alright, this better lead to the bonus barrel. No, it leads to a G. Oh, the bonus barrel was there. Well, I feel like a dummy. I mean, the bonus barrel was right there, but I could have gone that. Uh, all right. There we go, at last. Stupid bonus tokens. Woohoo! All right, Cranky's Dojo, let's skip that. Riverside race. That is when I stream. That is true. Aha. Okay, that was good. <laughs> Well, that was just Cranky's Dojo that I skipped. I already got the banana bird from him, so I don't need to go back.
No, I hit the clownfish. Oh no, you suck. Brash's record. Well, I probably won't be beating Brash's record if I'm trying to grab all the extra stuff along the way. So this... <sighs> Stupid clownfish. Yeah, so this level, there's a timer at the bottom, and you gotta beat a certain time in order to beat a bear's record. If you give you a banana bird later in the world. There is a war barrel, but if you get the war barrel, it immediately exceeds your time to, like, the maximum possible time, so you can't beat it that way. There we go. <laughs> you doing all right there, Dixie? This level also has like extremely minimalistic music if you're above water, but when you go underwater. I think it's- oh, no, actually, I remember now. No, I don't remember. Different level. Curses! I got hit by the swarm of flies, and I die. That's okay, I didn't have everything on that level anyways. Let's try that again. up there. How many levels are in each world? Almost every world has five levels in each. There are exceptions, though. There we go. I've been looking for you. Easy peasy. Thank you, Kitty Calm. Now, where is the hero coin? Oh, there it is. It's on the other side. Cool. G. No! You can't do that! Wow, the flies were just waiting for me that time. I see how it is. <laughs> G for great, and then I die. It's called irony. I'm 
trying to figure out how to get that hero point, because I did the kitty cone jump off off the surface of the water, but it didn't work. Get out of my path. You're not wanted. You can't do this. I can't find a clean rip of that sound effect, which is a shame. No! Why did that happen? Maybe I can do like a fancy Dixie Cone ponytail twirl. Wait, that was the wrong place. Ah. Right between the rats. No, it's the problem is I can't find a version of that sound effect online that doesn't have other sound effects in the background of it, or that doesn't cut it off early. It's not like dirty, it's just there's like there's noise in the background. It's not a clean rip. New plan. Let's just beat his record. We'll just get to the end, beat Brash's record, then go back and get the coin. Because we're doing making great time right now. Got the new record, but now we need to actually get the coin. And I think we can warp to the end. Wait, can you use the warp barrel to get to cheese it? Stupid flies! Get out of the way! Why do the flies do that much damage anyways? What did I do to you? Okay, in the SNES version, if you take the warp barrel, it definitely maxes out your time, so it doesn't work. But apparently in this, no, you can do that! Just like, you are not getting the coin. It's not happening. Finally! Good job. Alright, squeals on wheels. Unfortunately, it's the last mill level with this music. No other mill levels after this. It's so sad. 
This is an interesting one. You gotta kill all of these rats on the hamster wheels. Nobody likes to fly. That could have gone awry. Losing a call in hard mode is never a good sign. Yeah, the tops of the wheels are solid. That's, it's hard to beat the level if you don't know that. It's true. Oh, yeah. Like, every fiend in the world of Krematoa is gonna be... It's gonna be tough. Alright, Dixie. I hope you can do all of this without your cousin. Okay, never mind. No, you can't. <laughs> Probably not. It's kind of nice that they give you that banana bunch on top of that wheel at the beginning to kind of show you that the tops of the wheels are solid. That, that's a nice thing for the wheel. <laughs> Killing all of the rodents opens up the doors. Just like in real life. I love, I love how this level, like, the music on this level sounds very futuristic. Me and my friend, when we played this game, got stuck on one of the bosses for years because we had no idea how to do it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, there. Are, so there are two worlds right after this that you can do in any order. And they're both, they are both pretty tough. Come on, stop blocking the attacks. There we go. What's the hardest boss to do during hard mode? Um... Not sure. Truly, I do not know. Ooh. Yeah, you can do the two worlds after this in any order. That's kind of the interesting thing about Donkey Kong Country 3 is a lot of the worlds you can do out of order. The bosses do not change on hard... Actually, wait, yeah, you're right. The bosses literally don't change on hard mode. Because the bosses themselves don't have DK buddy barrels or checkpoints normally. So, you're just going to be what's the hardest boss in the game. And for that, I will say... It's a tough one. I hate the waterfall. Oh, no! Kitty!
It's kind of, it's just weird, because some of the boss, the bosses are all very pattern-based, but some of the bosses are just kind of unusual. There's also one boss that is GBA mode exclusive. And now we can break all the padlocks on the trapdoors. <laughs> oh boy, worst party member, Perry the Parallel Bird. Wow, I died at the very end. I didn't know Death's run to this game would be tough. I literally died just so Perry would live. Perry's not even good. It's not, his life is not valuable. <laughs> Perry literally exists solely so you can get rid of him and get a good prize. And I'm not being mean. Like, that's literally why he exists. You might have done the harder world first. It, I mean, here's the thing. Generally, if you have access to multiple worlds at the same time, uh, the worlds are probably going to be pretty comical in terms of difficulty. What's nice, though, is it's like you're... Okay, I'm stuck on this level. You can go to the other world. And unless you've already beaten the other world, in which case, never mind. chunky and awkward. I've been waiting for you! Allow me to introduce my newest invention! <laughs> yeah, not even close to being as good as that, Perry. I love the ending of this level where you break through all the padlocks back to the beginning where the door is now open. Alright, let's try this again. Nope, Perry died. Okay, so we don't get the triple one-up balloon. Oh, well. Squeals on wheels. Next up, Barrel Shield Bust Up. Hope you like the upbeat Happy Forest music, because we're back. So on this level, there are evil monkeys that are trying to hit us with rocks. I don't know what we did to them, but... This is also the level where I kept accidentally entering the warp barrel. Like, I found the warp barrel entirely on accident, and then I just kept accidentally entering it, because it's in an area that's kind of hard to avoid, actually. <laughs> yeah, like, if you fall down here and hold one, I think it's on the, either the left or the right side, like, you fall into the warp barrel. And because you run in to that room, it's super easy to accidentally hit it. Whee! Find the coin. I will do my best. Ow! Oh, you hit Kitty in the butt! That wasn't very nice. Stupid monkey. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the screen. The monkeys have no faces. They're just a jumble. They're just a jumble of pixels. That could have gone. I, I literally just landed on all those monkeys' heads while they were throwing rocks, and apparently they, uh, they didn't hit me. Geronimo! Aw, oh, yeah! Alright. 
use the barrels as the shields, hence the name of the level. I was definitely rolling. Thank goodness for invincibility frames. I think this is a level where we need a team throw to at least get one of the things. Spring and spider. This is... Okay, there was definitely something lower down. Oh yeah, we need the team throw for that. Ouch! Alright, see you Simpsons are us! Enjoy your lunch! Just have one more level after this and a boss fight, and then we're gonna call it a stream. It has been a very fun and fulfilling stream day. <laughs> I think I landed right on top of the warp barrel. No, unless I call it a stream, it's not a stream, Proxima. I am Supreme Ultra Dictator Power Man over the <laughs> the Colorful Twitch channel. So what I say goes. Not again! Alright, you know what, stupid monkeys? I've had it up to here with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's the warp barrel. This way I can at least start select to leave. But we still gotta get the coin and the upper bonus barrel. So, at least now if we lose one of the cones, we can start select to quick exit. Unique idea for a level. That's the thing, like, Donkey Kong Country 3, it's good. I feel like all of the levels are very gimmicky, or at least most of the levels are very, like, this is what it's about, and this is, like, the one thing the whole level centered on. And you got that a lot in DK Country 2, but I felt like it wasn't less in your face, or, like, less, like, oh, wow. The whole gimmick of this level is low gravity. Whereas DK Country 2 is, I think, That can be a pesky little coin to grab. Oh, we got it in the end. Oh, it's easy! Hope we don't need another team throw. <laughs> no! Barrel! Oh, that, that hit a part of Dixie that was very painful. Quite literally below the belt. Alright. Try this again. Eight times the charm and all that. Man, these treetop levels are giving me a lot of problems. Thank you. 
Oh, man. I was trying to literally use the barrel, sh but no, I was facing the wrong way. Oh no, I think I need Dixie's ponytail hair. No, I don't. Oh, I think you're supposed to need her hair there, but no. Got it with the roll jumps. Oh no, why? I hate that game. <laughs> See, all of those collect the bananas games. It's just so tedious. And some of them, it's like, oh, you better be really precise with your movement, or you dead. I mean, at least the rat ran off into a cliff. At least the bonus barrels aren't like, a, oh, you tried it once, you can't try it again unless you die, like the, the Returns games. I was not a huge fan of the Returns games. Well, Tropical Freeze was really good, actually. Returns, though, uh, had some problems. Phew! There we go. Barrel shield bust up. <laughs> this is Kitty Cone's flag now. What's oh, Brash's stadium? Hey, a baby beat your best time. What? You can't have beaten my time! I've held that record for two years running! Literally, but um you've made me so angry I could just And then he gets so angry he causes a log to drift down the river. Try to figure that out. Kitty just literally showed up to rub it in his face. That's great. Bobbing barrel brawl. So, this bubble introduces a gimmick that I didn't even know about on my first level. Not that. So, don't go in the... So, for this level, we play as Ellie the Elephant. Again. Ellie's, Ellie's got this water meter. You can use the R button to suck in water and shoot it out. On my first time playing, I had no idea you could do this. Because the game doesn't really tell you you can. They had R spelled out in bananas. That's literally it. So... As you can imagine, there's a boss where you literally need to use this to defeat it. And I'm just like, how the heck do you do it? You can't beat this boss. It's impossible. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, Ramon, I'm sorry, welcome! We're gonna finish up pretty shortly, but oh, those are some nice DK animated emotes. Very nice. Yeah, we're just playing some Donkey Kong Country free on the Game Boy Advance. Ellie? Ellie, you're really making me miss Rambi right now. <laughs> Take that. Uh, I generally prefer the Game Boy Advance soundtrack, but I also am biased because I grew up playing the Game Boy Advance version. The SNES version has some really good music in it, though. I love this bonus barrel, this is great. Boing! Boing! Hmm, which soundtrack I like more? The GBA version. I like both, but I do have a preference for the GBA version. Although the SNES version has far better graphics. I will give it that. Hmm. 
It was kind of shocking to me playing the SNES version for the first time. I'm like, whoa, everything's just so detailed. And not saturated. No! Oh, Snapjaw! Imagine trying to beat this level without knowing you can score water, by the way, because that was me on my first time playing this. <laughs> the game is like, hey, look, we've spelled the letter R in bananas. That means use the R button here. I'm like, all I saw were bananas. Yeah, I do. Because uh, the SNES soundtrack was composed by uh, Evelyn Fisher, and then the GBA version was composed by David Wise. But actually, I realized Evelyn Fisher actually composed some of the music for the original DK Country, like the Northern Hemisphere song. She was the one who composed that. Alright, Eric's Ambush. AKA the boss where if you lose Kitty or if you lose Dixie Comb, you're probably not winning. <laughs> Also, apparently this boss fight music was originally going to be the one that plays when you fight the final boss, but then they used it for this boss and the Croctopus instead, which is an interesting choice. I'm just going to set that down on the ground. That way I don't accidentally destroy it. Oh no! Oh no! The thing that I didn't want to happen happened! I lost Dixie Cone! Uh oh. Gotta aim this precisely! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> Yes! We got the patch. <laughs> Very good, kitty! No more web spinning fun for that eight-legged freak! I'm sure Funky will put that patch to good use. Go see him now! How about I go see him next week? Oh wait, but first we gotta go to, a uh, Blunder's booth. I've been watching your progress for a while, kitty. That's creepy. The name's Blunder, but you can call me Mr. Blunder. So you think you're going to find everything in the game? Eh? Hey, you don't even know there's a lost world, do you? Whoops, I think I just let the cat out of the bag. Do I do hard mode, not toughest? There's a toughest mode? I just did tougher. What's the difference between tougher mode and toughest mode? Do I want to know? <laughs> if that's you can't die, then like, I'm not going to <laughs> That's just what I needed! Hey, not for a couple seconds, Kitty! I'll whip up a cool new hot tub for you to rub a dub dub! I mean, uh, uh, a new boat, not a hot tub. Let's hire the vehicle. I am not playing Funky's dumb boating games. <laughs> Those games suck. <laughs> Hey, dude. Hello there, young kitty. The name's Bazaar, and this is my general store. All of my brothers are scattered around these islands. Yeah, I've met a couple of them. Pop it and say hello if you think you spot one of them on your travels. Where's the shell from? This shell was found at the bottom of Lake Aranatana and is pretty rare. At five bear coins, it's a bargain. Would you like to purchase this fine specimen? Yes, please. It's a deal. I hope you're very happy together. I am. Man, I love chocolate! These are the finest chocolates guaranteed to impress. They can be yours for just 20 coins. You gotta be joking! Nothing here for me! <laughs> oh, catch you later, kitty! I'm open 24 hours. I like- I heard a theory online. There was like a really interesting video where it's like, does Banjo-Kazooie take place in the Northern Hemisphere? Where the- like, the theory was that Banjo is one of the brothers' bears around in DK Country Free. I'm like, that's a really interesting idea! Not sure if there's any truth to it, but I definitely think it's interesting. You think you wrote it wrong? I saw I typed in the code T U F F E R, which removes checkpoint barrels and DK buddy barrels from the game. 
if there's a, a harder version of the game, then I am not aware of it. But if it if it's like oh by harder, it's like you, if you die, you game over, or if it's like you can't save, I'm like yeah, I don't want to do that because I'm not beating this in one sitting. And speaking of which, I do think it's about time to wrap up the stream, because I have been streaming for several hours now. Uh, four hours now. So that was that was productive. We finished up Paper Mario Randomizer Seed, and we cleared the first two worlds of Donkey Kong Country Free. I think we can beat Donkey Kong Country Free in two or three streams. It all depends on how the next worlds go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tougher mode is what I'm playing on. I'll have to type in that code every time I want to play it, but yeah, it's it's fun this far. A bit of backtracking that's been necessary, but I I forgot how much I like this game. Donkey Kong Country Free. It's not one of my favorites of the DK Country games, but it's still very very fun. Playing the Donkey Kong Country on the smartphone is torture. Yeah, I think at that point I'd rather just not play it at all. I'm playing. I I'm very fortunate because I have a GameCube with the Game Boy Player adapter and the disc with Donkey Kong Country 3 on Game Boy Advance, so I can just stream it with my capture card that way. But I also know, apparently, the Game Boy Player is a bit of a commodity. Not necessarily, like, the extra block you add to the GameCube, but apparently the disc is rare. So, interesting. You did it over 100%? That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I gotta wrap up the stream here, because I actually have to head over to my parents' house, because I'm cat-sitting for them while they're on vacation. So... Thank you all for joining in. This was a ton of fun. It was great chatting with you all. I will be continuing my Hollow Knight streams on Monday at 8 p.m. And then I'll be streaming more Donkey Kong Country Free Hard Mode uh, next week. Next Saturday, most likely. I might have to take a week break around May 7th, though, because my nephew is visiting, and it's his first birthday, and I'll be busy that weekend. So, thank you all for joining in. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.